Ukraine is running a campaign to assemble the world's first army of drones. Apart from funding, they are now specifically calling on international supporters to dronate their own recreational or commercial drones. Okay, purely hypothetical. If I donated mine, could this rather small gadget really help in a war against one of the biggest armies in the world? And what would it be used for exactly? Drones have been a crucial part of Ukraine's resilience against the Russian aggressor. Especially in the early days of the conflict, they helped to delay the first wave of attack and bought Ukraine and its allies some precious time. No wonder Ukraine's military trusts drones to be an effective weapon. But there's one big problem. The army is lacking hardware in all areas. That's why they're asking private supporters for help with an official funding page called United24. Meanwhile, Western allies are rather hesitant to deliver heavy weapons because they fear to be drawn into the conflict. Even though asking the public to donate their own off-the-shelf drones might seem a little unorthodox, from a Ukrainian perspective it makes total sense. Given the Russian advantage in numbers, unconventional devices and guerrilla-like tactics are kind of crucial. Let's be clear. Even if modified, off-the-shelf drones cannot replace drones made by the arms industry. These have been used in other military conflicts before and they are also being used by Ukraine. For example, so-called switchblade kamikaze drones, but also other unmanned combat aerial vehicles they acquired from the US and Turkey. These types of drones are used for both battlefield intelligence and drone strikes. Home-use drones, on the other hand, can't carry much weight, especially not heavy weaponry. Military drones also have a much higher range and a longer runtime than off-the-shelf drones. This one, for example, only manages distances of up to 4 kilometers and the battery is empty after 30 minutes. The Ukrainian military uses a lot of the private donations to buy military drones, but commercial drones can become useful assets too. For one, they are comparatively cheap. So it's bearable if they get destroyed in a risky short-distance scouting mission. Sometimes soldiers need to know if there's an ambush at the road they want to cross, for example. Apart from that, Ukrainians have become very creative in turning drones into weapons. Aerorosvitka, for example, is a private drone unit formed in 2014 in response to Russia's annexation of Crimea. It's a group of former IT workers and army members who started to turn commercial drones into military devices. Now they are helping to defend their country. Online propaganda videos also show soldiers modifying drones and using them to drop small bombs or grenades. So a drone like this one here could theoretically be turned into a weapon. They might help Ukraine win the war, but they could also kill a human being. 